Thank you for allowing us to present our innovative idea titled Standardizing and Automating Incentive Spirometry. We have no disclosures. Postoperative pneumonias are associated with increased ICU and hospital stay, mortality rates, and increased overall health care costs. So what have we done about this? Multiple randomized control trials were completed looking at incentive spirometry. However, they did not find any results and therefore did not recommend its use in this resource-constrained environment. However, when looking at these trials closely, there was no formal monitoring of compliance with the incentive spirometer. So how can we improve the use of incentive spirometry to maximize its benefits? A national survey of respiratory therapists and nurses saw patients, one, forgot to use their incentives, and also didn't use them effectively or frequently enough. Then how do we help our patients adhere better? The answer is technology. We are therefore in the process of creating an attachment to the incentive spirometer, as demonstrated here, that monitors the following. The volume of each breath, the quality of each breath, and we'll have programmable alarms to remind patients to use them and not have them sitting in the windowsill. In addition, all the data will be sent to the electronic medical record and recorded for nurses to review to ensure patients are using the incentive correctly and frequently. Benefits will include improving adherence to the incentive spirometry, attachments will be reusable to decrease costs, all the data collected will be documented like a vital sign so we can study the results as well as help our patients, and to decrease the stress levels of our nursing and respiratory staff as they are frequently outnumbered on the wards. We will start with a pilot study where the control group will have the monitoring device on only record mode and the study group will have it in active assessment mode. Outcomes will be compliance of the device as well as breath measurements and radiographic differences. Ultimately, this will work towards a randomized control trial looking at postoperative patients with incentive spirometry versus without. Outcomes will be postoperative pulmonary complications as well as the compliance with the incentive spirometry. Thank you.